sometimes it's scary to click a button. So I thought I might show you what happens when we click the advanced inventory settings in QuickBooks Inventory or QuickBooks Enterprise uh, version 23. So we're going to go ahead and click this, click. And first of all, it wants to know about um, sites. So a warehouse with an address. We can check that box and it lets us set up sites. So previously I set up a few sites here. I'll show you what happens if we set up another site. We'll call this one 3PL. And we'll click OK. So we turned on sites. And we have all these different options here. We're in about duplicate inventory transfer numbers. When a transaction would cause inventory to go negative. So my preference is to block that. I personally think that can cause all kinds of problems. Track bin locations within the sites. Gives us some good information on the bin or shelf location feature. Click OK. Let's go back in there. Serial or lot number tracking. Yeah, let's turn that on. Activate serial lot numbers. Hmm. It won't allow us to check both serial numbers and lot numbers. What if one part is tracked by serial number and another part is tracked by lot number? More realistically is if serial number tracking is turned on, then revision level tracking would act more like lot number tracking. That's a scenario where I think we need both serial number and lot number to be used as revision level. Lot numbers are usually used for perishable food items in conjunction with expiration dates. We have the option to make lot number mandatory and we have expiration date tracking we can turn on and we can make it mandatory. We've got FIFO costing we can turn on and we can enable barcodes, barcode tracking. We have all different kinds of things that we can barcode. The locations, the part, the serial number, manufacturer part number. I currently don't have it turned on so I'll leave it with that option. And I want to create barcodes for inventory items and assembly items. So we've got barcodes turned on. In the site operations tab we can enable sales order fulfillment worksheets so that'll be good. And over here I've got an emulator if I want to add the barcode scanning device. This emulates an Android device. I'll click add here and shoot I can't add it to a sample company so I'll have to use a different company file to add this but this is where we would connect the mobile device to QuickBooks. Landed cost feature would be a great feature to turn on. Landed cost. I'll get really creative and call the account landed cost and then it wants us to add the shipping and handling items which I don't have set up yet, but it lets me set it up on the fly and then click OK. So that's what happens when you click on the inventory, or excuse me, the advanced inventory setting button. So you don't have to be afraid. You can go in and go back and click and come back and uh, you're not committed to anything when you click on that button. There are some things within the button that are irreversible, but clicking on the button itself is harmless.